what's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And you are looking at a Saw Curiosity Rover. Saw 821 has been a jewel for uh, for us here. Um, anomaly hunters, whatever you guys want to call us. This, uh, this one caught my eye. Um, Angie Davis found this. She's a uh, researcher on Facebook. She has a YouTube account, and uh, she doesn't have many subscribers on there because she really focuses on Facebook. So let's go get her some subscribers. I'm going to put her down in a link, so you guys go check that out. What looks she got a vacuum cleaner head? And that I mean, it's just symmetrical, cool shape, whatever the thing is. It looks like a piece of uh, Uncle Jake's junkyard. It just came down the hill with all the blocks and all the the stuff. The <laughs> the uh, interesting things we're going to find out along the way here. Now, the platform here that you can see, it looks like an old platform. It looks like stairs in the front. It looks like something you'd find outside my deck right here. Um, you can see the lines as they come across. Um, now, let's see. Let me show you what I've actually done here. Because I've, I've actually put two together on this one. Because this... Oop, sorry, guys. Let me do that. All right. All right. So, I've got two saws together. Now, I just made my first Gigapan thing. And I'll put that Gigapan link down in the bottom. Um which basically I took all the pictures from this date, which were ridiculous how many were there and how cool they were. Like these all right here are the ones I took. So I'm going to put a link to this page or to the two pictures I used from this one. Um, they're down here. Let's see. They're the ones that had just a little bit of the, here's, here's one. And uh, here's the other one right here that I used for it. So these two and uh, this straight one here on the one is on the right. So this is the one I start off on the right. Uh, there's like I said, there's a lot of cool things in here that that just are it, whatever came rushing through here, the mud and everything. It just really uh, plays some havoc and had some fun on Mars. Here I add some little uh, little doodles over here. Let's go take a look at this thing. I've added some different coloring. Now how I've gotten this right here, I'm gonna show you. Let me show you how. It, this is how it came from NASA. You got that nasty brown like always. Uh, what I've done was I've done the color. I basically. Um, set it to match the color to one of the Molly e pictures that we have and then just basically going from there and tweak some things up. But this is what I think it looks like with the colors. Now I don't add all this color. This color actually comes from the rover and I'll show you like when we get a real like here, I'll show you right here. I think it's part of the op obfuscation that they use uh, when they do this because the color actually throws your eyes off. See how it's pink there and blue there? I believe that's being done somewhere in the editing. Um, it's done on all of the pictures. I tell you it it's hard to not miss it now. Um, but it really does throw your eyes off because well, I'm going to show you a little bit later one of the uh, formations on the other picture really does a number when you're, when you're looking at it. But as you can see, this stuff is here before I do anything to it. All I'm really doing by adding this to that is basically, uh, see I even lose a little of the brightness there. See how down here I lose some of the stuff. But uh, I'm just trying to bring the edges out just so you can see it. And the, the color that comes out is the NASA color that's in there. So whether that's the color sitting there on the surface or not, I'm not sure. I think it's been added a lot of it just to kind of throw our eyeballs off. Now, look at the, uh, let's look at a lot of this here. A lot of people are going to say, well, this is just normal strata. To me, it's just a lot of it just has too much symmetry through it. Um, it looks like what we'd expect to be at the bottom of, of the hill. Uncle Jake's junkyard is, uh, my buddy Terry from Paris would say, all sorts of stuff all over, just interesting little shapes. Let me flip it over to black and white, take away the color aspect of uh, what we're looking at here. Look at these anomalies. Um, they look like perfectly shaped. Um, they even have like a like a a decoration in them, and these two look almost the same. Look at this: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then they stop. And even on the end, they both turn off here. Now nature is awesome. Nature makes amazing things, but that to make to make copies of something like that would be amazing this here looks like it's got something that goes under look at that it looks to be uh let me flip back over to the color see what we come up with here just looks like a piece of something and there's so much on here that i just keep moving on or i can spend all day on some of these things this looks too cool to look at this see the, all the the what seems to be carved into that rock and i don't think we get no we're never going to get exactly what we should from nasa like these said these pictures come down and and 1024 by 1024 so I mean that's the best we're ever going to get and then that's pretty sad because we know that that the cameras on there can definitely do better resolution than that and, and with Maven now there's no excuse why well they don't have the 
you know, they have a deep space network that can transfer that stuff back here in no time at all. Um, so we're not being fooled. There's a lot of us that are doing this now and are seeing things are not adding up everywhere. So nice, nice uh, 90 degree curved angles through here. Interesting shapes in the rocks. Um, just kind of cruising through. Let me back up just a little bit as we come through here and, and take a look at some of this. Um, see how here it kind of looks. I thought this kind of looked like it was uh, kind of domed up just a tad. And when I say that, just kind of like it was, in, you know, it didn't look as much like rock as some of the other things here. And when you get some of these, check this out. See how they seem to be shaped? That one's got a pretty cool shape to it there, and it's got our favorite S in it. A little eyeball looking shape up the top. Um, I said, I see what I see, you see what you see. A lot of this stuff is just speculative. Not much science going here on my channel. I've had to done, do a couple of debunking videos just because when something's totally blatantly fake or false, I like to make sure that everybody knows that. Um, so I, I will stick to this. This is one of the abstract things. You're either going to see it or you're not. You know, or you're going to see it a little bit different. That's what I love the comments. Blue, if you see something different, tell me what you see because let's let's uh, compare notes. we got a lot of good people here on our uh, channel, and they leave a lot of good comments. So I know we'll get some good comments on this one. This whole soul is amazing. I'm probably going to have to do a couple videos from this one. Um, like I said, check the Gigapan shot thing I made out, too. That's the first one I ever did. It's a pretty neat website. You, anybody can really do it. All I did was download the pictures and upload them. Um, but check this out here. See the, uh, you know, you want to know if it's like artifacts in the back. Hey, but you see the colors, how they're, they're kind of in there. They just kind of throw everything off. Um, the flow is that we come down through. This almost looks to be chipped out. That was from water that did that. Or what was the force of nature that did that? Did something fall from there? And this is uh, pretty cool. I can see that attached. Like I said, in our eyes, I can see that just attached to some vacuum somewhere. Keep it black and white for a second as we cruise through here. Sometimes I think it's that. I think when you get the color out of it, it doesn't uh, distract us as much because that's what it's designed. I know that's why it's put in there like that because it does. It, it jumbles stuff up. Now, it makes it neater, and, of course, you, it's nicer to see it with the, uh, the color. But some people have to say, you know, they like the black and white better. So, all right. And noticed how a lot of the stuff looked to be blocks that could have been at one time, you know, they, they show patterns to them. Um, here, this one up here kind of curves up and over, and so does that one right there. And this seems to have a chain link pattern to it, how it looks. You know, that's it. I'm going out there. I'm not, you know, people are like, oh, he's going out there on a limb. No, I'm not really going out there on a limb. This stuff is definitely interesting. It's definitely sitting out there looking at it like this let me flip it back over because this is some really cool stuff here all right come on guys back on ever it gives you back in the color check this out right here before i flip over to the other one i thought this rock was interesting because this looks like as it went into the mud or whatever this is here it has this cut out into it and over here has a little bit of it too and it just kind of steps down just thought that was odd. So it just grabbed my eye, and even it's there in the black and white too. So it's not something that's you know getting deeper because of the uh, illusion of it or something like that. These are pretty neat here. Um, let me see if I can go show you back all the way that because I lost a lot of uh, when I did what I did when I com when I combined them. I edited them as the same picture too, so I lost some of the uh, the, the blistering coolness of this part right here. But look at that. See how they come down together. Just, uh, I thought this was interesting. See how it just comes up a little perfect. And up here, there's another little layer of it. It's almost like slag that just melted down on it and just kept on going. Oh, turning it around here. Oops, come on, guys. All right. So let me back on up here. All right, let me get it back to, back to my other thing. Okay, here we go. So everybody getting sick? Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. That's just me being a little geeky here today. But there we go. These are the other cool. Look at these things up here. This was neat. They look like, you see these things on front yards in Halloween and stuff. They look like a little, little Martian man or like a little kid or something, you know, going through Halloween or something. <laughs> They're uh, like little cardboard cutouts or, or wood cutouts we have. We have them in America, I swear. A little 
cutouts of like you know everything. There's a Family Guy joke about it. The guy selling cutouts. The wacky waving inflatable flailing tube man guy was selling them. <laughs> but uh, cardboard cutouts, or, or wooden cutouts. But uh, just more and more, just very interesting stuff. It looks to just be tossed up, thrown around. What do you guys think happened up here? Um, do you think we're? Uh, I know if you're on my channel and you're watching this. Most of you probably already think that the uh, this stuff we're looking at is a civilization that was left behind, or pretty much died off. Some of us think that it's still there. Um, and and it, what's neat about this area right here is that we are we are at near the base of the mountain. If, if we are where they're telling us, um, there's a lot more to see and there's a lot more to come. Um, I wish we just could see it the 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 crystal clear pictures. I know that this this that are coming down. There's got to be stuff better than this and if it's not I just can't believe that uh, that the tech we sent on this rover for for two billion dollars it can only produce this which I know it can produce better because it produced stuff much better as it first got there now there could be some sand on it there's some dust in it and uh, that, that causes some of this but for both mass cams to be having these same issues and for for all the office case I think like I said a lot of this stuff looks to be fake sand in it um, and I want to say fake, I just mean it's added and pushed on a little bit more, maybe to cover up some of the anomalies. Um, a lot of the stuff I think is done, like I said, on the on the rover itself or on the downlink. The uh, blinds marks, the blinds marks are just telltale giveaway to me that it's only used sometimes. And it's used where there's usually stuff that it wants to chop up. And right where they're using them, they always use a bunch of color things too. Like right here, you see they're all right down in here. See, whatever this is, they're trying to chop up so you don't see it. And when you use the black and white, you, know, you can kind of see that come in a little bit more. Um, you can see some of those strange shapes that look, look in 3D there. But if you take it out, um, you don't notice it as much. Look, when you back on out, the normal viewer of a, this picture who would just come to the website every blue moon and just say, oh, wow, look, a new, new rover picture came down, would not zoom in that far or ever notice that. If it wasn't for people... Uh, like Angie and people like there's like everybody that's on what's up in the sky dot com and come and post their things. If it weren't people like us going there and finding this stuff, um, this never would have been you know what I mean, this stuff would have they could have done whatever they want here. They could be putting pictures up from Arizona. Uh, which I still think they could be doing. Okay, here's a piece of facade of something. Check that out. I found this one, I forgot about this is what I was I knew I missed some stuff over here. Uh, this stuff here looks to be like old concrete pieces that that were uh, blown together. Like I said, this just looks like the bottom of something. Um, over houses here, walkways. Look at this; how it runs across perfectly here. They just follow the follow each other. And what's neat is where it breaks here, it breaks, and it's almost like there's a path. I'm thinking that the Martians were a little bit smaller than we were, and maybe even a lot smaller than we were. Check this out. Maybe to where Godzilla, the rover looks like Godzilla to him. But see how that perfectly comes that way? And then there's a cut in it. And it follows the perfect cut that way. Just too cool. And I wish we had a better, better view. Look at this here. This all, all up through here, you see the blur tool in it. It just happens to be unblurred right where the interesting stuff is. Here, look, right in the middle of there, there's a blur mark. Right in the middle of there, there's a blur mark. And it starts to drive you crazy after a while. It's like, gosh, why even give us a little taste of it? I guess it's just really rubbing it in our face that... <laughs> You know, so somebody says, like, well, why did they even put anything there at all? I don't know. I was going to see if that burn tool could, could work off that right there. Nah. I'm not going to use it this far in, so. Alright. Show you that here in the black and white. See here, here's where the blur is. There's a little blur mark. But look at that, it's interesting. See, this is blocked off, more block, another block. Up here, this block is rounded off. Um, this down here is kind of rounded off. Actually, it's kind of the same angle right here. Almost like the same same piece type. Look at that, I wonder if you can even bring it up there and stick it in. Like if you could bring that up, spin it around, and just kind of push it in there. It could be part, part of right here, what's missing. Um, it looks ornate. Especially over here where you've got this piece that runs here. It's got the top piece that runs. Um, it follows here. Here it keeps as it follows along here. It looks like it keeps the same exact length there too from the piece. Comes down here and it's and that follows it around. That just says ornate to me. 
Uh, somebody worked hard to make that, I imagine, for it just to be destroyed, tossed down the hill like it was. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, here's my little pancake maker thing over here. Check this thing out. Just round it off. It looks like a little guitar or something like that. Who knows what that is? Like I said, it's going to be these rocks. I say, I see what I see. You see what you see. Here, there seems to be like a little uh, boomerang type piece. All over here, you've got this, the color obfuscation. Here, it seemed to be a cube of some sort. And uh, there's nothing perfect about that. But it's interesting how, like I said, a lot of this stuff... You don't know, but you know, look at the here. Look here, check this out. See this piece right here? It seems to come to a nice little here. It seems to keep the same distance as it goes up it. And just like our piece over here, I love that piece of facade or whatever that is. It definitely looks like it's, uh, especially since it's got the cut in it, and the groove in it that, that stays with it. It's interesting how a lot of this stuff has grooves and you know seams, and it seems to be cut. Here, look up here. This one's rounded off. It goes up that way. Tell me that doesn't look like it's been worked over some it almost looks like one piece. It almost looks like basically that belong upright. Like this this piece right here would come up some and be upright somewhere. Then you got your interesting old piece over here. All sorts of good stuff, my friends. All sorts of good stuff. On Mars, when will we get there? I think it's time to send some people up there and start taking some risks. Um, I know Mars One wants to do it. To send people on a one-way trip. And let's just face it, guys. It's going to have to be a one-way trip, probably. Unless we get the, unless, you know, there really is a secret space program that, that we don't know about, Solar Ward, which I've uh, heard much about. No, okay, now check this out. Look at how scraped up this stuff is here. And I don't have the other picture, but it goes on a little bit more into the next frame. Um, but tell me that is not weird. And it looks how it stops right here. It's almost just like a scraping piece. It's like something scraped it. The rover's been nowhere near it. This, this isn't like laser shots it's not you know it's just a scraping um anybody have any idea about that this i've gone a little bit further than i usually do my videos lately but if you have any idea about any of that right there please uh, let me know below so all right guys let me sh let me leave you with the one of my favorites let's see let's go back here look at this more and more i could sit on this one all day probably <laughs> or all night like so we're, we're, we're at midnight let's see how far in are we how far are we actually on this 17 minutes. This is the longest one I've done in a while. I've been trying to keep it a little bit shorter so people can share them. But, you know, I know a lot of you, some of you guys like the longer videos. Because I get emails from you saying, I miss the long, long videos. It's an interesting shape just coming out. And uh, this one just seems to be a little bit brighter over here. Maybe maybe done a little bit nicer. Let's see. I noticed this too. See how this comes up and it goes out. It's almost like an, another piece of petrified something, but over here it's got it, where it's cut off. It's like it's got some interesting writing on it or something like that. And it's probably just from the, you know, what's the glistening somehow on the sun of what was there. But just cool. So you see these down here kind of rounded off, and this is kind of rounded off too. Here you got this up here rounded off like that. And uh, down here, Doug, I think this down here close to the rover, and you don't really get, it's kind of out of focus, you know, for as close as it is. Just interesting. And this right here just seems to be kind of put in there with the same color out of nowhere. All right, where'd you go up here? Dun, 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 dun. And we'll leave you with that again, guys. So what do you think? Where's my... Uh, well, actually, you know, let me show you one more time. I don't think this is all just too much random here. It's definitely, to me, looks like a, uh, a platform of some sort. It's got to be. I mean, this stuff looks, looks like it's been falling down, ripped down the hill. Who knows how long ago? Who knows how long it's been sitting there? Um, who knows if anything's ever been alive to touch it since then? Um, there's a lot of people here say that we're looking at life in these pictures, and I'm not even going to say that we're not. I see what I see, you see what you see. I, when you pull back, I see all sorts of uh, at least interesting, very interesting pieces. Look at this right here. Almost looks like a, a piece of art in there. It looks like a little extraterrestrial. See a little head there? All right, guys, much love to you.
Have a go on whatsupinthesky.com. Check out my website. All sorts of people are posting. Check out the website. I'm not going to call it mine anymore because we have all sorts of good people posting out there. Um, it's time to blow this stuff up. Much love to you. Peace.